Sri Lanka is ranked 71 out of 189 countries in the Human Development Index, the highest rank out of all its neighboring countries. While the country has made significant gains over the past years, a large proportion of people continue to live just above the poverty line and are at the risk of feeling the negative effects of economic or climate shock the most. Despite a strong track record in poverty reduction, pockets of inequality prevail in certain geographical areas, namely the northern, eastern, Uva and north central provinces, because together they account for one-third of the nation's poor. Addressing the above challenges and ensuring that the country is firmly on the path to achieve the vision of the Sustainable Development Agenda requires strong institutions and systems at national, provincial and local government levels. An inclusive and responsive system would not only enhance downward accountability to the public, but also facilitate local economic growth and promote community cohesion. Local government systems are particularly important to provide public services and strengthen the trust between citizens and the state. Sri Lanka has a total of 341 local authorities, namely municipal councils, urban councils and Pradeshya Sabhas, while at the ministry level, officials are responsible for policy making and legislation. Provincial ministers and local government authorities are responsible for the day-to-day -day administration and supervision of matters under their purview at a local level. From the collection of taxes, property rates and rents, maintaining public utility services and infrastructure, to promoting public health and sanitation, local authorities have significant responsibility towards the community. However, there is a need for better structural reforms to increase efficiency of services to the public. Recognizing this, the Capacity Development for Local Government or CDLG project focuses on strengthening the capacities of local authorities to be gender sensitive, inclusive, responsive and accountable, enabling them to plan and deliver better services. CDLG will be implemented in the northern, eastern, Uva and north central provinces, empowering 134 local authorities. Additionally, the project encourages more public engagement in local decision-making processes and to enhance downward accountability of elected officials by building capacities of the society to hold local authorities accountable. Strengthening horizontal and vertical linkages is essential for improving coherence, integrated planning and service delivery, and to avoid duplications and inefficiencies in the local governance systems. Through innovative workshops and peer-to-peer -peer learning techniques, officials will have a hands-on learning experience. Despite high educational attainment levels exceeding that of men, the Gender Inequality Index places Sri Lanka at 80 from 160 countries in 2018, largely due to a low female political representation and labour force participation. This project positions gender inequality as a priority across all areas of intervention and focuses on increasing the capacities of women officials to participate in local decision-making processes. The EU-funded Capacity Development for Local Governments, or CDLG project, spearheaded by UNDP, is part of larger efforts through the Strengthening, Transformation, Reconciliation and Inclusive Democratic Engagements, or STRIDE project in Sri Lanka, together with the World Bank and the British Council. With less than 10 years left to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, this is an opportunity to build a more efficient, effective and energetic local government public sector so they in turn can deliver better for the people of Sri Lanka.